once we get to Mars and, and take data and really understand the nature of, of what's there and, and how bad it is, then we would find solutions. I mean, that is the whole point. That, that's all humans have done. The main thing they've done is, is take their surroundings and, and make them more livable and adaptable as we've sort of struggled with natural selection and, and evolution to survive. That's, that's kind of what we've done. To me, terraforming and the idea of it, that is so unethical, but it is also, for me, just the definition of hubris. So terraforming is using uh, geoengineering techniques to create a livable for humans environment on the planet Mars. So you could, in some dream world, drop algae, melt the ice caps, take the oxygen out of the CO2 ice. But what we know and what we've learned from NASA missions is that once that magnetic field disappeared, the solar wind blew away Mars's atmosphere. So if you don't have an atmosphere, you don't have a magnetic field or an active core to hold on to that atmosphere. You're uh, drawing words in the sand while the tide comes in. There's no point. It's and a big it's challenge. <laughs> it's a big challenge. And yeah, the, the solar wind did strip the magnetic field away you know, billions of years ago when, when Mars was a livable world, we think. We think that, that would, conditions would have been great for life there. And if there's some way to, to, to take it back to, to that kind of condition, I think that would be great.